As we entered the room and reflected on the evening and the tremendous recipients of this evening's award, including former Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis, I looked at my wife and I said, do you ever think this Coastie would be standing in front of this august group in your wildest dreams? And my beautiful wife looked at me and gave me that pause look and said, honey, you're not even in my wildest dreams. <laughs> But on behalf of the United States Coast Guard, it is a privilege this evening to offer a toast to the armed forces, to the most capable, well-trained and equipped, battle-tested military on the face of the earth, whose men and women stand ready to fight and even die to advance peace and to protect those ideals we hold most dear as a nation, democracy, freedom, equality, and liberty to the armed forces of the United States of America.